Hey, this is Boston Jimmy here from Stogie Press. I'm standing next to the owner and proprietor of Smoke Ring 72 here in Merritt Island, Florida. Uh, Lewis um, used to be over in the mall, right? Small little place, good following, and you decided to break out in the middle of a pandemic and open up this magnificent lounge. Yes, I did. Yes, How'd I did. that experience go? Uh, 11 months of visions and research and just putting together on the fly what I thought was going to be the ultimate cigar lounge. We have the private lounge, we have the sit-down cappuccino bar, we have a large humidor with a great selection, 500 faces or more, and then the bar, the the gathering place for the cigar people and whoever else wants to come along and enjoy in our area something that's not readily available. So we've got a lot of great compliments. Um, our Google reviews are five plus, uh, Yelp five plus. We did it, we did it. You know, I, I, I ran with what I thought we should do to get in the game and make us a destination point for the cigar lover and their friends and family. That's where we're at. Now, now Smoke Rings is a um, is a franchise. No, or, no. So just us. Just you. Just us. Okay, so I'm gonna cut that. I'll cut that out. Don't worry. Keep going. Um, when you decided to do this, did you, you didn't have any idea that we're about to shut down America. Did you? Mm, no, of course, none of us did. <laughs> none of us did. No, no. And we were in the mall for 21 years, and the store has been in the mall since '72. That's where we got the name Smoke Range 72, paying homage to the birth of Smoke Range, which originally was Tobacco Reed back in 1972. I'm the third owner. And, um, you know, again, paying homage to the birth of Smoke Range back in 1972 when the mall opened. And I bought it in 2000 for my dad. Now, for me, I was a businessman elsewhere, but my old man says, You need to find me something to do. I'm old. I knew the owner. And I heard he was selling, and he had an immaculate spot. He had a cigar lounge in the mall, members only, and the place was like pristine. But he wouldn't let the public in. And I'm like, you need to let people come in and enjoy the lounge. So when I bought it, I opened it up to everybody. No more membership. You know, them, them days were in the early 90s when everybody was was getting on the cigar bandwagon. He had something going on. But after that, you know. The cream came to the top and everybody else went and did other things. So I just took the cigar store in the mall, I doubled the business in the first five years I was there and we did great. But with the shutdown of the Space Center in the early 2000s, um, business started to slide. Uh, we rebuilt it to a point where we were sustainable, but I saw the writing on the wall in 2015. Our best year was 2015. And then every year after that, we slid, and I was nervous. And with all the, the legal ramblings going on, attacking our, our industry, you know, I was nervous. In 2019, I decided I got to get out of the mall. And COVID was, that was it. And, you know, geez, our business was down almost 50% from our peak in 15. And in, in mid to late, 2019, I started looking, and I had a space, and after five months of negotiation, um, we were ready to move into a 2,500 square foot spot, and late 2019, and then the landlord says, we're going to run it by the anchor, and the anchor said, no, we don't want them here, and I was like, holding nothing, we had to start all over again, and I found this place, 5,000 square feet. And I'm like, what am I gonna do with that? And it afforded me the ability, with the grace of the landlord giving me a, a good deal for the first year, to build into this space. And that's what we're doing. Again, double the humidor of what we had, it's gonna probably expand more. Sit down cappuccino bar, private lounge members only, 24 hour access, uh, great accessories, and the lounge, you know, the lounge. And a pool table. And a pool table. And, and a Domino's table. And the and the pool table is not your typical bar table as you see already in this article that you're reading. The pool table is pretty much a regu not quite regulation, but it is definitely something that is beautiful. It is 
it's it's level and it's free to use. You don't have to put quarters in this thing. So this is like living in your own mansion, coming in, enjoying a cigar, and shooting pool. Just don't shoot pool with the cigar in your hand. Anyway, Lewis, thank you very much. And thank you very much okay. for the Good luck with everything you're doing. You know I'll be back. Um, this is Boston Jimmy out, Stogie Press. Peace. Salute. Stay smoking.